Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Preschool and Homestead. Wendy here, and I know I haven't talked for a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that today. Um, this is Hope's room that I'm sitting in, in here right now, and it's actually not too bad. Um, we're in the middle of doing some KonMari inspired um, cleaning in the house, and I think this is the room that's the hardest because Hope really associates all of uh, a lot of emotions and friendship with the, her toys, so it makes sense that it's difficult for her to get rid of because they feel like her friends. So this is the room we're dealing with last. We have um, definitely done a lot of the kitchen, uh, started on the bathroom, our room, and there's going to be some footage um, of that. It's really awesome because as we're folding in this crazy way that I think a lot of people think might be over like excessive, it ends up putting your mind at ease in a way that is unexpected. And I'm not really a big thing for fads. I like to be, go to the beat of my own drum. And I was already kind of into this purging, um, clean looking, or sorry, uh, organized looking theme that, um, before the KonMari, KonMari uh, phase or fad that came out with the Netflix show, but um, the Netflix show has definitely ramped it up, and I'm, uh, we're, I'm we're an empathic family, so that energy that everyone's going through right now, changing their home to look more streamlined or to be more streamlined and efficient and serving their joy, it's really easy to ride like a wave. So that's what we've been doing. Um, I really, uh, if if it, you know if this is not your thing, then th no worries, like don't feel like anyone, I don't know, I we are not pressuring anybody or thinking that anyone should do this. It's just really cool um, and I love to share with people who are thinking that this might be a, an idea and maybe they, you don't want to um, have your home looking like a showroom or like um, there's nothing in it, so as you can see. But everything if everything has a place, then it's really easy for everything to be put away. So even if there is like a play mess, you just pop it all back. So this is the last room. It's, it's still pretty chaotic and we're gonna be working on that. But I'm really excited about the progress for the rest of the house and I hope that you enjoy looking at that. We've also been doing a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm just still recovering from being sick. Um, I can't believe how long it's taken. We've never ever been this sick as a family ever. Um, because we, we eat really well, we take care of ourselves, but you know what, sometimes your immune system needs a workout and Hope's really never had that kind of a workout. She's never been sick for more than like 24 hours, so um, yeah, so you know, it, it was our time and that's okay. We're just rolling with the punches and taking care of ourselves now. We've been doing a lot of juicing, as we saw in the last episode, and smoothies, adding things like hemp hearts and just really good whole foods to our diet, obviously we're keeping with organic. So I'm just gonna give you a tour of the room and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff that we've been up to this week. So this is Hope's room and I'm really hoping to, uh, this is, uh, well, look, see we don't actually buy a lot of the stuff, we get a lot of stuff donated or it's gifts from um, family and friends, mostly donated, like we got this really cool house from our awesome friends, homeschool friends. Um, there's a lot of stuff that again we have got donated and all the furniture we like got secondhand. So we have Hope's little drawing area here. 
and she is a big stuffy fanatic so we have tons of stuffies and that's the problem honestly is she loves stuffies and there's nowhere to put them so it's just something we're working on I feel like we're dealing with a small scale of what is everything everyone is going through with you know the world are, are do we have what we need or do we have what we want and if we shifted that to what we needed how how would that make us happy um, so like that is like the metaphor <laughs> for for like do we need all of that I don't know and I think that's the process that we're going through through this KonMari experience I, I think the reason why I go specifically with the KonMari um, example is because I posted something actually on my Facebook that said this that you know her method isn't like get rid of everything her method is don't keep what doesn't bring you joy and what that means is okay if I pick up like the keys to my car okay I know the keys to my car start my car so I would have to say that brings me joy knowing that they start my car but the keys to my car don't actually bring me joy so that's kind of like when you're dealing with household items how does a broom bring you joy well because it, you, it helps you clean if that's the method you choose it helps you clean your home and so when you you know tidy up that area and you clean up that area you take care of that area you're bringing joy to your home you are bringing order you're bringing um, peace. Uh, again, if you're stressed, don't worry about cleaning the freaking floor. <laughs> I'm just talking about just the act of cleaning definitely does clear energy. So if that's something you're looking to do, your broom will bring you joy. So that's basically how we're looking at things like tools or um, like, how's my blender bring me joy? Well, because it helps me make smoothies. And that is amazing for my body. I love the way it tastes. So it brings me joy. That's kind of how we've been doing things. I won't give you any more examples and continue. So that's Hope's stuffies. We've got these, Jay's break, he likes to keep things in boxes, which is my bane and he stopped buying things like that. But now Hope does the same thing. Um, we're hoping this will stop at this because I can't stand things for a display um, because I, like, I just see the waste and the purposelessness of it and it, the space is taking up but it's not mine so I let it be and it just you know it helps me be on my journey but that's okay so then we have like just like odds and ends there's like beads and for jewelry play jewelry and all kinds of stuff like that and we've got her cover that I did all this hand painting and then just like again odds and ends like little balls uh, there's like some marine toys in there I think there's hand puppets in there so just everything has a place and there's still too much more stuffies <laughs> A projector old baby toys she won't let us throw out <laughs> and then of course her art gallery this stuff fell down and we have not gotten a way to fix it it gets really cold on this wall and everything falls off of it so that's why that happened we tried for like years and it's finally failed us so again more stuffies more stuffies more toys a really old globe but at least it gives her an idea and then yet yeah, more stuffies Lego there's some little people stuff in there but we're gonna maybe get rid of that we'll see and then all of her uh, it's funny actually she has some dresses in there but they're mostly dress up clothes so that she likes dress up clothes more than dress up dresses so and then her little library which we started working on there's space there now and oh I can't see this is like her little library that we or I made for her so it's got like books and you know um, like all the little thing in our library they have like little activities to do so those are the activities anyway we made her like a Snorlax oh but this is all of our homemade toys so yeah so this is we've turned her closet into more of a play closet so that's we only have a small place so we were trying to like min max the space and make it just like really work I messed up the, the pillow when I walked over so we also have her keyboard in here or our my piano and um, so that's you know we have also oh no her drum is, yeah her drum is right there um, so there there you go we have her whole room oh, and her dress ups right here which I have to get rid of that stuff that's her dress up stuff we still have this crib which I wish I'd never brought in because we don't even want a crib you know for any future children but that's okay so this has been a really long video and I'm sorry if that's like just too lengthy but this is our this is Hope's room and I'm kind of doing a little bit of a log, vlog so I can you know oh, there's Sandra so I can like kind of look at how the room changes as we uh, 
clean it up. And so I hope you really enjoy the rest of the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for all your support. I can't believe how many people are supporting us, especially on YouTube. So thank you for all of our YouTube subscribers. Where I am, we are noticing, and we are just like elated. It's been really hard this last uh, month, just because we've been sick. So thank you so much. We are sending you all of our love. You have a great day. Much love from the Free School and Homestead. What you got? Uh, quesadilla. Why is Twilight afraid of quesadillas? What? Well, I don't know. Do you know? Is it a mystery? They're just so cheesy. Um. <laughs>